Paul Schumiller here at Dream Guitars. Uh, just recently got back from visiting Thompson Guitars out in Sisters, Oregon. It was really great to meet the team and hang out with all of them. Um, they're all really sweet people and very talented, um, as evidenced by this Triple O 14 here. This is a Brazilian Rosewood Adirondack Spruce Triple O 14 fretter um, that we spec'd out uh, with them. It's got a beautiful Adirondack top. And Gareth, um, who does all the top voicing there, um, chose a slightly softer um, Adirondack top. Um, so this one has a bit more warmth and sensitivity than you might expect from some OMs. Um, it's got a 41 style inlay pattern with their Mystic Snowflakes. So if you look at the close-up pictures, some of the snowflakes here are pretty cool. A slightly different design. Simon, who does their inlay work, is just extraordinary, and um, as evidenced here also by this torch. Um, they're taking some of the traditional inlays and just changing them enough to be unique and beautiful. Um, so again, make sure you click and look at the pictures. The fingerboard, of course, is also bound and bordered, so really elegant looking guitar here. The finish on the back of the neck is satin, so it feels like a glove. It feels like an old pair of jeans. I just love it. And really dark, beautiful Brazilian rosewood. And this is shipwreck Brazilian rosewood, so this is reclaimed wood that was underwater, which, of course, tends to give... Um, um, the wood uh, extra energy body energy is really what you what you hear in it because uh, the resins and such get pulled out over time by the water so anything that's been underwater um, tends to have just exactly what I said more energy more power more um, something um, they say Stradivarius used to float his logs to his shop and they would be submerged for quite some time before he ever built violins with them and some people say that's one of the reasons they were so amazing um, certainly we've had many guitars in with different types of salvaged um, submerged woods and they are always special. There's something cool about it. Um, the other thing about Thompson guitars in general, you know, people always ask me what makes them different than some of the pre-war Martins or such that they might be modeled after. And really there's this warmth and beauty in, in the strings and in, um, in the, the mid range and the power of the trebles that are also trebles are sweeter and fatter than a lot of, um, you know, say a vintage guitar might be. Um, so they're just different um, in their own way, and they really have their own voice going. Again, Gareth, who does their voicing, I think is just a magician. He really knows what to do inside the guitar to bring out all the possible tone and, and energy, and, and they feel great. Um, the really setups on this one is wonderful. This one was actually reviewed by Acoustic Guitar Magazine, so you can see this guitar um, in there soon. Um, and of course, our little review right here. So let's play it and see what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 